Hey guys and welcome back to Papi English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world and teaching you English. Today I'm in Istanbul in Turkey. We're going to discover some of the city and of course I'm going to teach you some English as well. So let's go. This is Istanbul where East meets West. It has as many incredible attractions as it has minarets. These tall towers reach high into the sky. When it's time for prayer, from the minarets they cry. Down on the ground you'll find people who are down to earth. That means people are practical, realistic, and also they're generous from birth. A city full of history and beauty, architecture and art. In Istanbul it's difficult to know where to start. With stunning views you may drop to your knees, and of course don't forget to take some selfies. Welcome to Istanbul, the queen of cities. So guys, I have finally made it. I've made it to Istanbul. And here I am at the Hagia Sophia. Now the Hagia Sophia used to be the biggest cathedral in the world. Then it was turned into a mosque and now it is a museum. And I learned that Sophia means wisdom in Greek. And the full name of Hagia Sophia means Shrine of Holy Wisdom. A shrine is a place regarded as holy because of its association with a divinity or a sacred person. Once I stepped inside, I discovered the Hagia Sophia had been established as a mosque once again. As people prayed and others took photos, it was so quiet you could hear a pin drop. That means it was completely silent as tourists and worshippers respected each other. No place quite catches the light like the Hagia Sophia. If you are lucky, you can see the ancient frescoes from the Hagia Sophia's Christian past. Faces mustn't be seen when a Muslim prays, so frescoes are respectively covered. Then, just across the square, is another iconic mosque, the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. Or, what else is it called? The Sultan Ahmed Mosque, aka the Blue Mosque, aka means also known as and it's known as the Blue Mosque because of its beautiful blue tiles in the inside. And this mosque draws in millions of tourists every year. If it draws in something, it means it attracts. It attracts the tourists. It draws in the tourists. And it's a piece of art in the inside. It's absolutely stunning. But we have to be on our best behavior when we're in there. If you're on your best behavior, it means you behave in the best way possible. You respect the people around you because it's also an active place of worship. The handmade blue tiles inside the mosque have over 50 different tulip designs. The tulip is a flower that represents the Turkish homeland. These incredible tiles are marvelous to see and are used in many Turkish decorations. So now I want to try some typical Turkish street food. I'm going to see what they can rustle me up. If somebody rustles you up some food, it means they prepare you some food quickly. So I went to see what I could get to eat. I found this Turkish kebab house that had all sorts of interesting foods. When I went inside, the chef rustled me up a gozleme. First of all, she hand rolls the dough. She then adds spinach, meat, and sprinkles cheese. She folds and she flattens down. She then trims the edges. And finally, she pops it onto the hot plate. I can't wait to eat this. Bon appetit, or in Turkish, afiyet olsun. And to finish off, of course, I got Turkish coffee. So you know me, I'm a culture vulture, someone who loves learning about culture. And that brings us to Topkapi Palace. So here we are in Topkapi Palace. It is the largest and oldest palace to survive in modern times. And we've got some prayers going on as well. So I hope you can hear me well, because this palace is amazing. It's where the sultans lived. And also, it's where they had the mint. Now, not the mint like the herb, but the mint where you make money. So they made money for the Ottoman Empire, but also the Turkish Republic made their money here as well. And in English, in British English, if you say someone is minted, it means they're really rich. 
Okay, so to live here, they must have been minted. In fact, they were definitely minted. The palace was the heart, brain, and center of the Ottoman Empire. It was also the highest educational institute of the empire. What a history these rooms have had. And now I'm off to another place steeped in history. If a place is steeped in history, it means it has a lot of history. This is the Grand Bazaar, the market of all markets. So the Grand Bazaar is one of the most ancient markets in the world, and it used to be the heart of the Mediterranean trade. It's absolutely huge. There are around 4,000 shops and 60 covered streets. And here you have to haggle. That means you have to negotiate for the price. So let's give it a go. Okay, I'm going to admit that I'm not that good at haggling, but I gave it a shot. That means I tried. Let's see what I bought. So I haggled. I got this tea, fusion tea. So it's got like flowers, like lavender. It's also got saffron which is apparently quite expensive. And I must have haggled for about 10 minutes. He started off with 500 lira, which is like $50, which seems a lot for some tea. And in the end, I ended up spending 100 lira, which is $10, about seven euros, which also probably, yeah, let's face it, I spent too much. But don't worry, because I also got this lucky eye thrown in for free. If something is thrown in for free, it means it's included as a free bonus when you buy something. This is going to keep my bad luck away. At the end of my journey in Istanbul, I had one last place to see. I looked out at the incredible views of the Bosphorus, this narrow strait of water which connects Asia and Europe. It made me contemplate about how even when we are from what seem very different places, we are all actually connected. And like the bridge which connects these two worlds, languages can also bring us together. So that's the amazing city of Istanbul. I leave here feeling that there's so much more to see and do, but I'll leave that for another English lesson when I come to Istanbul next time. Make sure you give the video a big like and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now. That was Istanbul, the queen of cities. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next?